analyzing. So let's find out exactly who it is we're going to be doing Taj Barrow. Oh, sick. All right. Let's, <laughs> All right. let's dive straight in. So we're going to dive into a video of Taj Barrow. Clayton hasn't even seen this video yet. I just went and downloaded one and put it on there. I thought it was, it covers quite a lot of different things with Taj's style. So let's dive into this video and let's have a look. So Taj Barrow is one of the first surfers that came out with like a, a, a hearty surf book. Like, uh, I, I was frothing up. There's little yeah. blueprints on, on certain things about equipment and waves and technique and... Yeah. I just, oh, I was like Taj, just like one of my favorite surfers. And then I was actually on trying to qualify on tour when Taj had just come on tour. He did his first year when I did my last year. And I couldn't believe how he surfed small waves and big waves. He surfed them the same. Okay. But on small waves, I was struggling to get speed. Mm. And then on big waves, I was struggling to do turns. Mm. And he made it look easy on small waves and he made it look easy on big waves. So, yeah. like, his surfing confused me. Like, I, I did not know <laughs> how he did the stuff that he did. He made it look effortless and easy. I was just like, far out. Like, I was happy to not be on tour because I, seeing how well he did and how little I understood about surfing, yeah. it made me feel, like, inadequate. Like now, but, have, but, but have you had a chance now to figure it out so that you oh, know that confused? Now I know, now I understand. But okay. Yeah, so let, let's kind of cool. break it down. Yeah, so let's, let's jump into it. Let's, uh, let's get the... the Dynamite. Yeah, so I'm just going to play this, yeah. and when I see stuff, I'm going, oh, so, so I've already, like, freaked out. Like, oh. Ooh. That was nuts. Look it's at a really big hole. All right, so I'm just going to show you something of, yeah. So look at the knee tuck, and you'll notice that his knees are pointing forward. So basically, yep. he's in that front-on stance, like a sprinter. Yep. So his range of motion, it's in an, if you look at me, it's in an up-and-down plane. Where someone's side on is going to go twist left, twist right, yeah, twist yeah. left, twist right. So he's moving more functionally. He's almost like a person on a trampoline going up, down. And that way he can go up and down the wave effortlessly. So he's moving less but doing the right movements. Yeah. So a froth on that. Look at the coffee cup arm, how high it is. It's like a boxer. He's it's going like two. Like, it's got like two cups of coffee. That back arm, <laughs> the back arm, it's, it's crazy good. Look at it's just chill, the track stalling. Look, there it is again. He just brings it more forward or yeah. brings the coffee cup back. So, that's a, that's a really interesting point there because he obviously he used his hand for a moment just to like apply the brakes a little bit inside the barrel. But the second he'd taken his hand off the brake, that hand came straight back forwards again, okay, so which is again the coffee cup. Which check is check this out. He's not moving much. He's not moving at all. Like really still. The simple move my shoulder behind me or move both my shoulders over the front foot. Mm. That slight adjustment is the speed that you need to basically stall for a barrel and move a lot. Now, some guys, they just put their head down and their body's moving a hell of a lot. They're wobbling. Mm. So the good surfers hardly move. And the adjustments that they make, they, they're tiny. Yeah. But yet, they have such a huge impact. Yeah. yeah. And I, so I, I, I know that that's one of the, the, the big things with your one-on-one -on -one coaching, with the Accelerated Surf Program. This whole do, yes. it's do less to do more. And... Everybody who 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 I, who I see you coach, like all the time, you're saying to them, stop moving around so much, stop moving around so yeah, much. And stop with, doing that. Yeah, with me, you're saying just stop, just be still, be still okay. in the moment. What would you tell a kid if you taught him how to learn a bicycle for the, learn how to ride a bicycle for the first time, and they like this all over the bicycle? Yeah, it's, yeah. Okay. Be, yeah. So the thing when people try to learn how to surf, they almost oversteer. Yeah. And then when you oversteer, you got to counter steer, and then they just wobbling on the wave, yeah. and they're standing on water, and you can displace water yeah. so you're wobbling even more so they're just trying to balance throughout the entire ride yeah where Taj is just calmly standing still yeah getting good balance so so already like, and we, we what, what are we into here like the, the start of the second wave that we've watched we've already got so much there there's the there's the there's the, the, the stillness the knee tuck the the, the, chin the level the chin level the coffee cup arms forwards like there is the, there is so much already but B because he's not moving a lot he can actually slow time down and feel more and anticipate more. 
and then do slight adjustments yeah. to to increase the feeling. But how weird is that? In somebody that move, that somebody that is moving so little, there is so much to be learned. Like how crazy is that? Well, the less you move, the more you feel. Mm. But if you move, if you got a lot of moving parts, like okay, again, let's go back to the kid riding a bicycle yeah. for the first time. He's got so many moving parts. How do you tell him to feel that balance? So if he stops, mm. starts yeah, moving a little yeah, bit, less, moving, yeah, yeah, you'll start yeah. to feel that balance. Yeah, yeah we're going off on a bit of a tangent here. Let's let's right. let's, let's keep going and see what else we can yeah. get out I'm of. I'm just going to get one more thing. Look at the coffee cups. Oh my god! Oh, there's, hang on a bit. There's a bit look, of movement there. That, this next that one. is insane. Look at how it looks good. He's doing that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this here. Okay, so basically, let's go back to the wave face. The wave's almost flat. Like the power zone was way back here. The next one's down there, and he's stuck between. So what he's doing is he's actually now, for the very first time, doing smooth star. Okay, like, like riding a surf skate in the flats. And so one, of the, one of the only times you go left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay? And you'll notice his technique, he's got his arms up. Yep. Okay? So he's making himself lighter and he's going rail to rail, rail to rail. And then as soon as he finds power, he stops moving. Okay? Okay, so I'm interested here for you to just, I just want to re, don't rewind it, but I want to rewind what you've just said. Yeah. Just because I know that when you see people moving that much uh, in the surf, you you're, you're very quick to pick up on it. You're like, what are, like what are you moving for? What are you moving? For? So when is it okay to use that lots of movement like pumping, pumping, like wiggle, wiggle, wiggle? Okay, so when you are surfing a wave, you should use the wave's energy mm -hmm. and less of your energy. Okay, let's talk about riding a bicycle. When you're going downhill, just, just come away from the iPad screen for a second. When you're going downhill, freewheel, you don't have to pedal. Yeah. Okay, but when you're in the flats, pedal. Now, what happens when people surf, they're in the good part of the wave, and they're just pedaling. I'm like, what the hell? Why? Just relax and freewheel. Yeah. Start to feel more. So this whole pump that, that you see a lot of people do, where they're pumping, pumping, pumping the board, or they're doing the wiggle, is, is that, would that actually be like a technique? Or So a lot of people, when they pump, they don't know what else to do. Okay. They're in a situation what they just, what should I do? Like, I'm, I'm freaking out. There, there's too much information hitting their brain. Okay. It, it's kind of like if you've got a funnel and you, you're pouring too much stuff mm. into the funnel and stuff's just pouring out the funnel and that little bit that comes out, they can't acknowledge what that should be. Okay. They can't focus on that. All right. Cool. Okay. I think that's, I, I think that's, that's, that's kind of answered it in the, in the whole moving around too much. But yeah, it, it, it's really interesting to watch him the wiggle. Coffee cups. <laughs> so, so as soon as he taps into wave energy, he just stands. But he yeah. stands like a fighter. Yep. Who at any moment he could compress, extend, attack, yeah. lean, twist. That's that, that's what I think is one of the biggest takeaways for me here. And seeing him go from that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to then suddenly, as soon as that wave energy suddenly kicked in, he's like, okay, now it's time to stop and let the wave. You know what's interesting? We did a coach's eye on. Blank now. Somebody else. Luke Egan. All yep. right. And he, as a goofy foot, also had that back arm up. Yeah. So there's something's got to be said for having that coffee cup hand up. Yeah. So I think probably Taj Burrows for me on this episode is all about that coffee cup arm. Coffee cup arm. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to stop there or are you going to carry on playing? Because we've, we've that, had that, hardly any that, of the video. Let's see if it does like a we've, turn. Like we've managed to get so much out of, out, of, so, so out of what seems like nothing. Look what happens here. The wave's just about to annihilate him, okay? He compresses and he's got his coffee cup up. He's stacking all his weight onto that front foot. And he's balanced on the widest part of the board. Mm. Whereas a lot of people, they'll go on the back foot. The board's kind of wobbling yep. and skidding out and they, they fall off. But again, just his basic surfing, it's... Yeah. It's beautiful to watch. Okay, let, let's see if it doesn't turn anywhere. Well, he's going to load, he's gonna load barrels. No. Oh, hang on. Let's go back here. There. Again, just coffee cups and coffee cups. He drinks a lot of coffee. Oh, look at this. This is insanely good. So when he goes up, it looks like he's got a bicycle handlebar between the hands, and he lifts the handlebars up. Yep. Okay. Then grinds it out. Boom, he's still got bicycle handlebar between the hands. There's the 
just or a scooter. Yep. Right. Rides down. Now he lifts the coffee cup arm up, levels. Twist, twist, twist. Passes the coffee. Now look at the relationship between that front arm, which is that hand, and the surfboard. Wherever he then points the front arm, that's where he's going to hit. Yep. But he had to open up that coffee cup arm to see it. Yeah. You can't just blindly like pass the coffee and not see where you're passing. And then look at that twist. Look at where he's looking. Oh, what? That was just next level. And coffee cup arm up for balance. There it is. Yeah. There. Okay, so again, Taj, one of my favorite surfers. I could literally just say so much about him, but yep. only one takeaway from one pro surfer, I would say yeah. coffee cup arm. So coffee cup arm, and that's so evident in, in everything that, that we have just watched and everything that we've just analyzed is that coffee cup being up, so the arm being up. And also, for, for me, it was that, that really big takeaway of watching him have all that movement but then as soon as that wave's energy suddenly kicked in, he went into, into that, that stillness. So for me, that was uh, another huge takeaway there. There was loads of takeaways within that one there. But look, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do also hit that notification bell so that you get to know as soon as we put up the next Coach's Eye or the next live. We go live every, every Wednesday evening. Uh, what I'm going to say to you is, what has been your biggest takeaway from this video? Because... We sort of said two there at the end, but there was so much gold within this one video and it we hardly even really sort of got into any of the waves. There was so much information gained from just a small amount. So leave it in the comments below. Also, if there's a surfer that we haven't covered yet who you'd like to see us put through the coach's eye, then leave that comment below. But in the meantime, get out there, catch some waves, tap into that stillness and get your coffee cup arm up in the air. <laughs>